What's up guys, I'm Ira Rochelle and this is Nuggets of Truth. The other day I was having a conversation with a friend and the idea that Jesus isn't the only way came up. My friend argued that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he wasn't saying that he, Jesus, specifically was the way, but that I am, God, was the only way. So let's dive into this idea real quick. The name I am comes from the book of Exodus when God called Moses from the burning bush. What my friend didn't take into consideration was who the Bible specifically says appeared to Moses in this burning bush. So let's read this account real quick. Exodus chapter 3 verses 1 through 6. It says, Now Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro the priest of Midian, and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside to see this great sight why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not come near. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Did you catch who was specifically said to have called Moses out of the burning bush? It was the angel of the Lord. So God, because all scriptures God breathed, was very specific in letting us know who was speaking to Moses. It wasn't just God or the Lord, because that could leave room for any one of the members of the Trinity, or all three at the same time. Instead, God specifically says it was the angel of the Lord. So who is the angel of the Lord? Well, it's Jesus. For more on that, check out our video, The Angel of the Lord, which is under our Nuggets of Truth category. Now, with that said, let's take a look at what the Angel of the Lord says his name is. Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 through 14. Then Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So even if Jesus was saying that the great I am of old is the only way, he was still referring to himself and not just the Godhead in general. In fact, Jesus himself confirms this in the same I am statement that we mentioned earlier. In fact, let's read that real quick. John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus makes sure that we understand that he is the great I am, that he is the only way, that there is no room to argue another way to eternal life other than through his name. In fact, if we go back a few chapters, we find Jesus referencing the same I am statement. John chapter 8 verse 58, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Again, we have Jesus referencing the statement that he is, I am. We don't see any other member of the Trinity doing this other than Jesus. I believe this is because Jesus specifically is the only salvation for all of mankind. Peter confirms this in his response to the, to the rulers and the elders in Jerusalem, which is recorded in the book of Acts. Let's read that real quick. Acts chapter 4, verse 11 through 12. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus and Peter aren't the only ones who made this statement either. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 5-6 through six, For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. Again, we see by another author, the Apostle Paul, 
that there is again only one way to God and that's through Jesus. In fact, if we go back to the most commonly known verse of the Bible, we find the exact same sentiment. John chapter 3 verse 16 through 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. All throughout the Bible, we'll find the same sentiment that Jesus is the only way to salvation, that Jesus is the only way to eternal life. This now begs the question of why. Why is Jesus the only way to salvation? Well, because it was his blood that was shed it was his body that was given as a sacrifice for our sins. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11 through 15 says, But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands that is not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of a heifer sanctify for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. It was Jesus that gave his life as our sacrifice for eternal life. Therefore, it is only through him that we are saved. To simply just believe in God or even believe that God is three in one isn't enough according to James chapter 2 verse 19. You have to go through the redemptive blood of Jesus and humble yourself before him. For he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the great I am. So let's sum everything up for you guys. Jesus is the great I am. So even if we say that the great I am is the only way to salvation, we are still saying that it is only through Jesus that we can be saved. This is why Jesus solidifies that he is the only way, the only truth, and the only life by ending that statement with no man comes to the Father except through him. Believing in God isn't enough. Not even just believing that Jesus is God is enough. You have to be redeemed by his blood through repentance and belief. Then we are to follow him all our days. I hope this cleared up any questions that you may have had about Jesus being the only way to salvation. And I also hope that you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.